everything, you know, I always like working with my hands and like, creating things and, you know, through my art major I was kind of used to being, you know, told what to do as far as projects and, and things like that, so uh, tattoo is a lot similar like that where, you know, you're, you're doing your artwork for a customer, not necessarily yourself, kind of makes things a little easier sometimes, you know, and things that I like to do and create on my own and then there was the things that my customers asked me for, so. It's kind of two different types of creativity. Well, the original uh, tattoo shop, the Painted Bird, was uh, located on some of the lab. And uh, that was opened in uh, late of 2004. And then a few years later, we were able to expand to our Medford location in Wellington Circle. That was the Painted Bird, too. And then we were, uh, had the opportunity to move into a larger space in Davis Square. And actually, at one point, we had two studios in some of the Painted Bird and Boston oh, yeah. Tattoo. And then when our lease ran out, we converted everything over to here, uh, and that was in 2010, I believe. So, you know, within uh, 2004, we've had three locations uh, in what I would call two expansions. So I went to art school. I went to school for printmaking, and uh, I fell in love with that. Did it for four years after I graduated, uh, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't quite what I thought once I got out, and uh, I always wanted a tattoo. It's definitely the rock star dream for me. Um, and I just happened to come in here and talk to Jay and see if he needed a counter person. And I stayed quiet about what I wanted to do for a while. I just worked at the counters, empty trash, and then one day I was just brave enough to ask if he'd apprentice me. I definitely like working more geometric, black work, lots of line work, dot work. Um, I don't really do too much realism, it's more illustrative, uh, things that you see in books and I think that translates a lot from printmaking. It was actually a boardwalk shop in the Jersey Shore, um, super trashy. <laughs> um, it was not nearly to the caliber or quality that we offer here today. And you don't have a clientele there. You have customers, but not a clientele. Versus being here in the neighborhood, and especially in Somerville, I, I love Davis Square, it plays rules. The trans uh, clientele has jumped significantly, which is pretty cool. Um, I, have a, I have a lot of trans clients who are, you know, discovering themselves a lot. And piercings, you know, depending where it's going or wherever it's going, can help define them, you know, which is also pretty cool, um, you know, as a person and, and, you know, discover who they are, you know, and that's a cool um, aspect of that. I have people that are regulars that come quite often and that, you know, made a bigger difference of the work we put out and the work we did is the, you know, making sure people are happy long term and, you know, continue to keep coming and, you know, having a great experience every time. I'm a tattoo artist, I've been tattooing for 19 years. Uh, I live in Las Vegas, but I travel all around the world tattooing, doing conventions and guest spots. I mean, the technology, it's, I think it's, it's, it's definitely helped. I mean, all the TV shows and everything have helped people. Like, there's a lot more of a graphic design approach nowadays than there is, um, like, I'm more of like a freehand artist. So I like pull out markers and draw on the skin type stuff. It's kind of like a dying art in the tattooing now because it's so much easier to go on Google, pull something into Photoshop, adjust some things and print and stencil and go. So everybody's like, oh my God, tattoos are so much better these days. I'm like, well, that's because there's actually money being invested. So you can, there's better machines, there's better inks as, as people actually like push into like grow our industry out. You know, it's just so much more knowledge out there. People are graduating college and, and going into tattoo apprenticeships nowadays. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. I started tattooing, I was just doing traditional stuff and then my mentor wanted me to push myself outside of that so I personally bought some uh, books from like Barnes and Noble that taught you how to draw, draw faces and uh, figures, different hands and positions of the hands. Coming out here, there's the hospitality, I stay with Jay when I come out, um, the food, the crew here, um, you feel like you're at home all the time. Uh, we also get a collective of really good artists out here from around, I think, the country that it's always good to meet up with, see where they're at, learn. Uh, there's a lot of different artists here. It's a really busy shop, so there's, there's a lot of cons to it. Or pros, I mean. <laughs> God, Boston sucks. <laughs> Everyone's professional and everybody handles things the way they're supposed to, so. Like I said, it kind of runs by its own. We have our counter staff, which is 
amazing, and then we are fortunate enough to have enough artists with enough different styles that really there's nothing that walks through the world we can't handle. Um, all skin types are definitely a little bit different, uh, and you have to make sure you're making your client happy. And even though they're commissioning you, you to put a piece of your artwork on them, you definitely want to make sure that you're ideally figuring out the concept they want and translating it to you know, a piece of artwork that they want and that they're happy to have on them for the rest of their lives. Uh, just make them happy. It's that instant gratification type of thing and I think it goes both ways. Um, I, I get just as much as it from the client when they look in the mirror and they're super happy with the piece we just worked on. So oftentimes people are looking for something unique and I'll have way more fun doing something with a rad piece of jewelry and that person's face will like light up. They're like, oh wow, it's so awesome. I didn't imagine it. And that whole experience really makes it like a lot of fun. I mean, I'm friends with the, the whole shop here, so it's it's you know, it's cool because you get to go places and make friends, and then as you're like traveling around, you still get to come through and interact with them. And uh, you know, the economy's uh, you know, it's pretty solid out here too, so it's always a, a good place to go and work. So I work a lot when I'm out here. The first place I got was was in Davis Square. It was the first time I was trying to get to Cambridge and I took a left and then all, I ended up on, in Elm Street. Uh, yeah. Wherever it was, I remember okay, eating at the original Rosebud Diner and saying to myself, and this was before even tattoo oh, okay. was legal in Massachusetts, it's just Davis Square would be the absolute perfect place for a tattoo studio. Because just the, the area, I, I felt it, it was the only thing that it needed that it didn't have. Davis Square is great with the people that come through and the, the traffic and just all the different types. And, all these old people from all over the world come to the Davis Square and, you know, they walk past the shop and they stop in and, you know, it's become known for that. I would just like to say thank you to everyone who's ever been through the shop. I definitely think I have the Davis Square clients and I really like that. I love being in Boston. Uh, Somerville's a great place to work with and it's ideally because of the clients. Because Somerville people care. That shows in the community and, and, and the people that come through here. and. Uh, and I'm fortunate to be here. I don't take it for granted, and, and I, I hope that shows in the way we do our business here. So I just want to say thanks to whoever's ever watching. You know, it's been great.